In appreciation to the mothers of both the bride and groom, they would like to make presentation to them at this time. Burn the wind. Think you the spirit is a still pool which you can trouble with a staff? Oftentimes, in denying yourself pleasure, you do but store the desires in the recesses of your being. Who knows but that which seems omitted today waits for tomorrow? Even your body knows its heritage and its rightful need and will not be deceived. And your body is the heart of your soul. And it is yours to bring forth sweet music from it with confused words. And now you ask in your heart, how shall we distinguish that is good, which is good and pleasure from that which is not good? Go to your fields and your gardens, and you shall learn that it is the pleasure of the bee to gather honey from the flower. But it is also the pleasure of the flower to yield its honey to the bee. For to the bee, a flower is a fountain of life, and to the flower, a bee is a messenger of love. And to both bee and flower, the giving and the receiving of pleasure is a need and an ecstasy. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Jimmy and Tracy, I charge and remind you both that as you stand in the presence of friends and witnesses, to remember that love is one of the highest experiences that we human beings can have, and it can add depth of meaning to our lives. The sensual part of love is one of life's greatest love, joys, and when this is combined with real friendship, both are infinitely enhanced. <coughs> no other vows are more sacred and difficult than those that you now assume. For marriage symbolizes the intimate sharing of two lives, and this sharing must not diminish but enhance both the individuality and the togetherness of each partner. A marriage which lasts is one which is continually developing and in which each partner is individually developing while growing an understanding of the other. And this awesome knowledge of another person grows out of the reality of caring for the other and understanding their feelings. Thus, it is possible to share not only joys and successes, but also the burden of sorrows and failures. Understanding and accepting these feelings makes it easier to live with our problems and disappointments and worries. While marriage is the intimate sharing of two lives, it can enhance the differences and individuality
So Twala, you're first here. Alright. Uh, I'll be your next right here. And uh, then we'll line up like this. Right. Heather, Mary, Heather, Jessica, Mary. So uh, here's the group of parents and then the bride and groom in the middle. Gary's here. How are you doing? Gary. I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start right now. Make sure you just have to come to the bride. Hey. Very nice.
you pick your phone? One second. Oh, I caught your first. I was your first. Okay, look here for one second. Oh boy, all of a sudden she gets serious. There we go. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. And a kiss.
You know, ladies and gentlemen, I know when you first looked at us when we came up here and hit the stage, the first thought that crossed your mind was country band. So, we do want to let you down. Okay, before we do our first dance, we have a special treat for you here, folks. Now, we have someone with us tonight. I think you all know and love him. You've done so for years. He's been a top musician in town. But you may not know. No, we're not. We're just done. This one. You may not know that secretly he's been a, an impersonator, a great impersonator of uh, many people. Frank Sinatra, though, is his. We're at the time. <laughs> He finished his speech. Frank Sinatra is his favorite. He has the moves down. He has the, the look. He has the accoutrements. He has the whole thing. And he's with us tonight for a very special. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> Plan B. He's a little bit shy. We cannot announce his name. We're going to call him Mr. X. We have to do something a little bit different here, so if you'll bear with me one second, we're going to bring up uh, Mr. X in one second here. We'll start a little damp here. Ready? One second here as we get out Mr. X. That great impersonator. It's him in person. Okay, but uh, it's on. Plan B. Plan B.
Here's the bride, Bill and Twyla Myler. Let's hear it. Bill and Twyla. Martinez and the father of the groom and the best man James Martinez. Let's get a round of applause for James and Linda. And next one to call our maid of honor, Heather Meyer, and her escort, Jason Williamson. Heather and Jason. And next, Jessica Sauer and her uncle Bob Sauer. Rob Sauer, I'm sorry. Jessica and Rob. Sour and Mike Novak. Mary and Mike. And now Joe Novak and honored aunt Marilyn Novak. Joe and Marilyn, please join us. and honored aunt Janice Patrick. Don and Janice. And a round of applause for Tracy's grandmother, Fran Sauer, and her son, Ron Sauer. Fran and Ron. Flower Girls, The Dance in the Circle, Francis, Ellen, Kathleen, Lauren, Rosie, Emily, and Rebecca. Come on now, girls. Let's hear for the Flower Girls.
Congratulations, Tracy and Jimmy. Let's hear it.
come 